Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut your pumpkin in half and take all the seeds out and all the flesh stringy stuff and then place it cut side down on your foil lined baking sheet and then cover it with another piece of foil. Put it in the oven at 350 for about an hour and a half until you can poke it with a fork and it's tender. So it's about an hour and a half then we're going to take it out of the oven and let it cool. After an hour and a half the pumpkin's ready to be cooled for like 10 minutes and then have all of the innards scraped out and put into a bowl and so you'll do that with both pumpkins and then I'm just going to use an immersion blender to puree the pumpkin. You can use a regular blender a food processor or just a potato masher just mash it all together just make sure it's really smooth and if it comes out too watery um, just strain it. So my pie pumpkin ended up yielding about two and two-thirds cup of the mashed uh, pumpkin puree that guts inside and so what you're going to want to do to make um, two nine inch pumpkin pies is mix together um, your two and two thirds cup, all your pumpkin puree, and then 28 ounces of sweetened condensed milk, half a tape, half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of cloves, and then like one and one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, two eggs, and then two cups of boiling water, or just super hot water actually. And then um, kind of with pumpkin pie, you just mix it all together. But I think the easiest way to do it is eggs. Eggs first, then pumpkin, then condensed milk, seasoning, and then hot water, and then pour it in your pies. I didn't go as far to make um, homemade crust, but this works fine. I mean, whatever works. Okay, guys, so go ahead and pour your mixture into your two 9-inch baking pans. Um, I overflowed mine a little bit here, which is okay. I mean, it's not totally... A total tragedy. This will just be the one that we give to family and then we'll keep the bad one. But anyway, so cook these at 375 for um, about 65 minutes. So, you know, an hour and 10 minutes maybe until you can put a little pin in the middle just like with, you know, any other pie or cake. Put a pin in the middle, toothpick in the middle, and it comes out clean. So, that is what we are going to do and then I will of course show you guys the pies once they're all done and delicious. Okay so this is about 60 minutes later so an hour later and um, keep in mind these pumpkin pies they don't look like other pumpkin pies and some people might think this looks like icky. It kind of looks like a quiche is what it reminds me of a little bit but it's so much better like the taste is so much better and I like the little crispiness but I can't find a toothpick, so I'm using a knife. But just, um, you know, when the knife comes out clean or your toothpick comes out clean, there's nothing on it. So that's when they are done. So yeah, you let these cool and then serve them with whipped cream or just by themselves. And everybody, everybody loves pumpkin pie. Everybody knows how to make pumpkin pie. I just thought. It helps me sometimes um, visually seeing things, so like visually seeing somebody else. Yeah, hang on. Visually seeing somebody else make the um, make the recipe, then you then you know it better. It's easier to follow. So this is basically just my what I do to ring in the fall every year. No, you can't have too many vitamins. Um, and I love pumpkin pie and I make this all the time and it's not that much harder and it just is more special I think and people will like it. It tastes a little bit different and you can also do it with squash, butternut squash. Do it with, you know, exactly the same as you would with the pie pumpkin just with the squash. So yeah. that's also really good and you can barely tell that it's not like if you didn't tell anybody that it wasn't pumpkin pie, it was butternut squash pie, they would they would not know. So, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys um, found this informational, and maybe if you have not tried making a pumpkin pie with um, 
from Pie Pumpkin, you could try it, and I'm sure you guys will love it. So I hope you find this helpful, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. Bye, guys.